Hello guys, in this video we're going to be creating a free Postgres SQL server in pretty much one to two minutes probably with this new easily create step that AWS RDS services just uh, developed. So let's just go ahead and look for RDS which is Relational Database Services for, for Amazon Web Services. So we're going to go ahead and click on RDS to open their, their dashboard. Once in the dashboard, you will have to go ahead and click on Databases, then Create Database, and then you have two options here. You have the Standard Create, where you have to do all the settings by your own. Of course, this is, I strongly recommend you, uh, recommend you these, of these options if you're creating something for a specific project that needs some specific configuration, but if you need something to test something pretty quick, for free, right? Uh, I, re I recommend you just the EC create. So in this scenario, we're gonna pick a uh, Postgres SQL. You can go to, you know, to Aurora, um, Amazon Aurora, MySQL, MariaDB, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, or Postgres. So in this case, I will choose the free tier, um, which of course will give you very limited resources. But again, if you're looking just to to do something for free to test something on your product application or school. This is definitely the way to go. So you can just change the name you want to do here. The master username and then just put a secure password. And that's pretty much it. If you want to review the, the settings that they will easily create for you, I mean this easily create feature, you can just click here, right, and check all the settings regarding the VPC that they choose for you. The security crew, right? Whether it will be doing automatic backups or not, the default port, which in this case is the default Postgres uh, port, where you're gonna be using to connect to Postgres from outside. Uh, you know, the database engine that they're using, and so on. So just go ahead and click, and click on Create Database, and that's pretty much it. So it will take some minutes to create your your database, uh, but that's it. Uh, regarding the, the all the you know the settings and stuff that you have to do manually. So with all this with just this step you will see how uh, AWS is creating your database. You can you know check your status you have to click on the on the database that you just create and you will see the status of it right so the status will be changing and it will be showing you what they are doing step by step like you know like creating backups and so on uh, for that database. You know and it will guide you all the way through the end when it says, you know, uh, active. So, um, so uh, let's just stop the video now. I will I'll jump to it in, a matter of, in about two to three minutes once this is finished to, to create, to actually check that database uh, inside out. Well, after a couple of minutes, this is our database already created. So as you can see, it's fully active. You can see the status here says available. So you can now click on the actual database name that you choose. I will see some information of, of your database, I mean, the subnetting, the VPCs where your database is living, you know, the port, and the most important thing, which is your endpoint, right? So this endpoint is the one that you're going to be using on your uh, Postgres um, Studio, whatever you're using for it, to to actually connect to your, to your database, of course, using the username and password that you previously select. If you forgot the username and password, you can click here on the view connection details and it will show you that username and password uh, for you. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.